guys, it's me, Stace. Welcome back to another Friday PIP, which is our Pinterest-inspired project. Today's project is super easy. We are making snowmen from salt and pepper shakers. Aren't they adorable? And they are filled with salt. All right, so the first thing you will need will be salt and pepper shakers. I got these from Family Dollar. I want to say they were $1.65 a piece. You can probably find them at the dollar store, though. I'm going to take these guys out. Now the lids that came on these were silver. I did take them out back and spray painted them with black spray paint. All right, next you want to take, you know, you can use salt, sugar, Epsom salt. You can also paint them. The Pinterest one that I was inspired by, they did go ahead and paint the jars, but I thought it's, you know, um, salt is white, so we can just use salt. I'm going to fill that guy up and fill this one up. So you can use, like I said, salt, sugar, Epsom salt, white glitter, really anything you want there. All right, I'm going to remove that salt out of my way. I'm using the kosher salt. That's all we use in our house. All right, so we're going to put the, um, the cap back on. Now, I'm not sure about using them for food or for salt because the top is painted, so I'd probably recommend just to be decorative, just for, um, for that. All right, then you want to take a Sharpie marker, and we're going to draw on two eyes. If you want to, you can use paint. So I'm going to put his two on and then these ones. Really fun though, right? And super inexpensive. All right, so we have the eyes on. Next, I want to go and take some orange felt and just cut a little square off. And I'm going to cut a little triangle off the corner of it. So there's one there, and I will need another one. You can, if you want to, you can use orange paint here as well. I just like the 3D effect from the, um, the felt. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take my tweezers, and I do have my hot glue gun over here heated up. I'm just going to put a little dollop of glue on that. I'm going to put this on there and then grab this one. You can also use craft foam if you want to. Construction paper. All right, so two little dollops of glue on those guys. Super cute. And I only put it on the end so the so on the side view it looks like this the um you know, the nose is sticking out. All right, we got that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and draw on our mouth. And I'm just gonna do five dots. I'm gonna line it up with the center of the eyes first, and then work my way up. Two on each side. You can also draw a wiggly mouth. Isn't he adorable? I mean, there's nothing cuter than snowmen. Maybe puppies, but snowmen's are adorable. And it does not need to be perfect, which I love that part. Okay, so that one's done. Now, the one I seen for the Pinterest one, they kept their lid silver or the cap silver, and they put burlap on the top. I didn't like it because the scarf normally goes under the face, right, on the neck area. So I just have this ribbon that was left over from a few Christmases ago. And you can see it's much wide, or it's rather wide. It's about maybe two inches or so and way too wide for a snowman. So I'm gonna just roll it up. You can also use any kind of fabric you want. You could use um, fleece as well. You can use ribbon, really anything you want to use for the scarf. So I'm just kind of rolling it. It is a wire ribbon, which makes it a little bit easier. I'm gonna bring in my felt here to kind of act as a little cushion there. And just go in and tie this in a double knot so it doesn't come undone. And I'm going pretty close to the bottom. So make it super tight. And double knot it. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down. I 
like the knot on the side, so I'm going to kind of turn it over a little bit. Maybe one more time. And this snow, this um, salt and pepper shakers, they're not round. They're like a stop sign to where they have them little angles. Nope. All right, now I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the extra pieces. Now it's nice that you can, you know, because it's wire, you can kind of form it any way you want, so it looks like it's in the wind, right? All right, let's gonna do the other one real quick, and then we are done. Like I said, super easy project. All right, so again, I'm gonna roll my ribbon up a little bit so it's not so wide. I mean, you can use old t-shirts if you have those, just like we did with the, um, the headband for our Pinterest inspired project. Just go ahead and cut a piece off and you can use that. All right, so again, I'm gonna wrap it. And I'm gonna bring my knot over here already. Nice and tight, and tie it. So like I said, because we painted the lid black, I probably would not use it for um, salt or pepper, or salt in this case. I mean, you can also, you can mix salt and pepper and make it look like it's a dirty snowman. You know, I know oftentimes when my um, kids were little, they made snowmen and they'd take a, make a ball and roll it in the grass. They'd pick up dirt and grass and everything else and it looked dirty. So you can also use salt and pepper. All right, so there you have it, my friends. There's that one. Aren't they cute? And so simple to make. All right, guys, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.